The capital of Kazakhstan, Astana, is the city of peace and accord. Here, in the center of the Asian region, issues of world social, economic and cultural development are being addressed. Dozens of forums, summits and congresses on crucial international issues were held in Astana. Each of them became a landmark not only for Kazakhstan, but influenced the course of recent world history. This is the program 20 Facts About Astana and today we'll tell you why politicians and public figures from all over the world attend the anti-nuclear forums in Kazakhstan. We'll reveal all the secrets of the largest in the world Semipalatinsk nuclear test site and we'll tell about what efforts are being made by our country to ensure a nuclear-free world. Kazakhstan is a country that gained its independence without shedding a single drop of blood that rejected military policy in favor of peace, where the highest value is human life. After the Soviet era, veils of many secrets, sealed with a secret stamp, were also lifted, including naked truth about the Semipalatinsk test site, the worst nightmare of the 20th century that caused harm to thousands of Kazakhstan people. The impetus for the creation of the Semipalatinsk test site was the atomic bombings by the U.S. armed forces of two Japanese cities, Hiroshima and Nagasaki. After these events, the USSR decided to urgently create an analog of the American deadly weapon. The Semipalatinsk region was chosen as a test site, which for some reason was called depopulated, although at that time there were about 1.5 million people living there. Semipalatinsk nuclear test site was the largest site for explosions in the world World, the strength of which exceeded 2.5 thousand times the power of the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima. Tests were conducted on the ground and in the air and underground. The area of the affected land around the testing ground is 300,000 square kilometers. На нашей территории в то время размещалось 104 межконтинентальные баллистические ракеты. In our territory at that time, there were four intercontinental nuclear missiles, which in the West were called Satan, and 1,400 nuclear warheads were installed in them. At our airfields, 40 strategic bombers with 370 cruise nuclear missiles were based. This potential exceeded the nuclear forces of France, Britain and China combined. In total, 456 nuclear and thermonuclear charges were tested, including 116 in the atmosphere. Kazakhstan takes a responsible and important decision to close the test site and renounce the entire nuclear arsenal with independence in the summer of 1991. This was the will of the people and the first president. The world started and split into two camps. Some were surprised and could not understand how one could voluntarily renounce such a powerful weapon that gives strength and power. Others found this act as a nobility, the desire for universal peace and as, and as an example for all other nuclear powers. Kazakhstan voluntarily renounced its nuclear weapons, and this was the right choice. As a result, Kazakhstan enjoys the trust of foreign partners and attracts a huge amount of investment. It has become the main economic power in Central Asia. Pyongyang must learn the lessons and learn it from Kazakhstan. The decision to close the test site 25 years ago as well as the decision to abandon the nuclear weapons inherited from the Soviet era and accession to the treaty on the non-proliferation of nuclear weapons was indeed historic. These results provided a platform for Kazakhstan to become a leader in nuclear disarmament. In addition, Kazakhstan played a huge role in the creation of the Central Asian Nuclear Free Zone. It initiated the adoption of the Nuclear Weapons Free Declaration. Since then, Kazakhstan has become famous in world arena. President Nursultan Nazarbayev repeatedly addressed the leaders of all countries from the rostrum of the United Nations with an appeal to stop the nuclear arms race. 
On the way to a nuclear-free world, the young capital Estona becomes the host of regular anti-nuclear forums, thanks to which many fundamental contracts and projects appear. Nur Sultan Nazarbayev's manifesto, The World, the 21st Century, message that was awarded the status of an official document of the UN General Assembly and the UN Security Council. Semipolitinsk Treaty on the Establishment of the Central Asian Nuclear Weapon Free Zone, which was signed by Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan, and received security guarantees from the five nuclear powers. The implementation of the Atom Project, the essence of which is the unification of all people in the struggle for the total prohibition of nuclear weapons. Establishment of an anti-nuclear day, which was celebrated on August 29, the day of the closure of the Semipolitan's test site. All these initiatives are important, however, according to analysts, they are not enough, because Kazakhstan is still the first and only country that voluntarily renounced the nuclear arsenal. These pictures are famous all over the world, and their author is the most famous artist who suffered from nuclear tests. Karibek Kuyukov was born in the late 60s in a small steppe village of Yigindabulak, located a hundred kilometers from the Semiplatin's test site. For his parents, he was a long-awaited child, but they were shocked when they saw their baby. The newborn was without arms and, in addition, was a hunchback. Despite the congenital deformities, the boy survived and, moreover, became the most ardent activist in the fight against the use of nuclear weapons. He participated in the movement Nevada Semipalatinsk was nominated for the Nobel Prize. He's an honorary ambassador of the Atom Project and a laureate of the Foreign Nuclear Free Future Prize. We were standing on the square in Hiroshima showing our gesture and open hand that we came in peace. And I remember how I made a speech and I said that I cannot show you this gesture and I asked them to show it for me. I remember how thousands of Japanese literally jumped up, raised their hands and showed this open hand. This was probably the biggest effect of a bomb explosion. The artist also recalls the real picture of the explosions. Then the villagers did not know about the whole danger of radiation exposure. They were standing on the hill and watching as a giant atomic mushroom rose up to the sky. The beauty of this spectacle fascinated them. But for such beauty they had to pay too high a price. I saw a lot of families and I personally knew children, sick children. I remember such a picture when a mother puts her child who could not walk, move, talk in the through, or she does laundry and just leaves him on the street. I wanted to portray in my works what my parents told me and what I remember of that time. His pictures are not just paintings with colors, it's a call to the world community to realize the horror of the military atom. In addition to contaminated ecology and suffered human health, the use of nuclear weapons poses a great threat of outbreak of new wars. The worst thing is if nuclear weapons fall into the hands of terrorists. We now call on everyone to ratify the nuclear treaty. The nuclear issue should be decided by the people, not by politicians. Kazakhstan being in the center of Eurasia is an example for both Asia and Europe. Kazakhstan is an example for us, the African continent. Already at the dawn of the nuclear era, great scientists, even those who participated in the creation of a whole nuclear energy, military strategists and politicians proved that it's an illusion to win in a war with the use of atomic weapons, and when there can also be a response from many countries, this would really be insane. Everyone will lose in such war. Only those who lay down their arms can be winners, realizing that hydrogen bombs are not a means of defense, but a real instrument of destroying the world. International anti-nuclear movement activists never tire of repeating that our planet has suffered from the test of the military atom and are struggling to ensure a world free of nuclear explosions.